Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger. My friends, we got a little bit of a surprise today. So Capcom held their Capcom Spotlight stream event, you know, just showcasing a bunch of Capcom games and Street Fighter 6 was in no way shown, promised or advertised for this event. Whereas, you know, things like Monster Hunter and Resident Evil were and shock of shockers, we still got Street Fighter 6 news and info here. All I'm going to say is I ain't going to complain. So we learned a few interesting things, both gameplay wise from some of the characters as we got a little bit more gameplay info. And also we now know the full stage roster and full character select roster. So here are all the stages at launch in Street Fighter 6. 15 stages all in all, so a pretty healthy amount to start off with, although just a little bit short of everyone gets their own stage. So working from left to right, we have the Metro City Street stage. We have Guile's stage, we have Lily's stage, we have Zangief's stage, we have DJ's stage, we have Blanca's stage, we have Cammy's stage, Manon's stage, Marissa's stage, and now another kind of generic stage, not fixed to any one character. Restaurant stage, sort of same deal, at least I'm assuming. Dalsam stage in India. The marketplace, this is the one you've seen where you fight the bull in the little gimmicky mode. I guess it's its own separate stage. We have JP stage and the arena stage and the grid. So not counting the grid, 15 unique stages, 18 overall characters at launch. Some of the stages who they belong to, very obvious. And for a few of the other characters, maybe not so much. And we can all fight in the comments on who gets what stage. But still, these are the stages. Also, as you can see here in the top right, you can pick your music independently of whatever stage or character you have. So that's a nice little bonus. And going off from the stage select, you can see now our final this will be our launch character select screen. So here's all 18 characters. This is the screen we'll be looking at for like the next four to seven years of our life. A few things to note about it. One, just looking around the sides, uh, there's a lot of room for DLC characters to say the least. And of course, Street Fighter being Street Fighter, we will get a lot of DLC characters over the years. Secondly, and it's a small thing admittedly, but still, uh, the bottom row is the original eight world warriors and specifically it's aligned exactly like the original street fighter two, the world warriors character select screen. If you're a fighting game, old timer like me, it's the little things that matter. And I like this a lot. Now, all this said, now let's hop to some of the gameplay that we've seen today. So a lot of this gameplay is on the back that we have a new and our final commentator for street fighter six. It will be a Japanese language commentator, Hikaru Takahashi. Now here on the channel, the gameplay stuff is what's really important and some really interesting tidbits here, but just for the sake of completion about the real time commentary, the commentary has a lot of translation options, actually 13 different languages. So that's pretty cool. And apparently there's a specific commentary mode that is only to like jazz you up rally mode where they're talking you up specifically versus being kind of neutral and objective about what's going on. So if you want your own personal hype man, nay, hey, you can get it. Now back to the gameplay properly. So to start off with, we have Lily's Drive Impact. Now it's been a while since, you know, the beta's happened. So it's been a while since I last played, but this feels like it's a little bit longer range than the average Drive Impact. Maybe I'm crazy. Could be just cause the animation is really stepping into it with, you know, using the weapons, but that's how I'm reading it anyways. Directly following is this little bit of comedy here. So they both go for a drive rush attack into a low and they both smack each other. I do like the poses both of them strike before they go into the drive rush. It's quite dynamic for both the characters, very evocative. And then they just both hit each other like big dummies. Although now we see the attempt again from Cami, and it does work this time. So we get a bit of a drive rush combo and it gives us a good idea of what's capable here. So crouch medium kick into drive rush, crouch fierce punch and a standing fierce punch. And keep in mind this part's only possible because the drive rush will give the crouch fierce punch more frames of an advantage. I'm sure this would not normally ever link. And now we go into the cannon spike and I guess from stand heavy punch can spike the charged version. You have enough time to hold it and get that extra damage. Those extra hits that extra animation. And if Cammy has a decent enough poke game and knowing Cammy, I'm sure she will then, you know, fishing for normal into drive rush into combo. Uh, and especially cause this is two fierces back to back. And then the charge special, the damage is probably going to be fairly significant, even though everyone else probably hopes. Otherwise I'm sure Cammy will be a pretty good character again in street fighter six. 
Now this is a very interesting piece of business right here. So Cammy going for a drive impact, obviously multiple hits of armor, and Lily going for Condor Spire, and Condor Spire wins because it has three hits. So the two hits are armored, the third hit breaks the drive impact. Now this is blink and you'll miss it, but Lily does indeed, by the very faint green glow, you can see have the Condor win live right now. So this is the turbocharged version of the Condor Spire. I do not know if we've ever seen a non-wind charged version of the Condor Spire yet. Uh, maybe it might be that the regular ones are single hits like T-Hawk and when you have the Condor wind up, you have your wind clad stacks then you get the multi-hitting version of the move. But regardless, Lily, if she's anything like her daddy, uh, spamming Condor Spire is going to be a big part of the game and knowing that if you have the wind clad version of it live, it can break a drive impact in neutral, that is very handy knowledge to have. Now here we're having, I'm assuming crouch medium kick into a Tomahawk Buster. And this is a single hit buster, so no wind, she's not glowing anymore, so no wind stacks. So it might be that the multi-hitting Tomahawks are only for the wind clad stacks, and otherwise it's just a single hit like a regular Dragon Punch uppercut. Next up, we can see a bit of Kami's Burnout animation. So every character has different animations while in Burnout. They're a lot more haggard, a lot more pressed. You know, not living their best life, basically. We have Lily go for jump, I'm assuming medium kick into stand jab and her jab looks to have some pretty good range, which once again, just like daddy. And here we get to see one of Cammy's basic throws. So it doesn't show what side she ends up on left or right, but it looks pretty nasty. <laughs> like she's doing like several layers of wrapping you up and then just putting you down into the dirt. I dig it. Here we can see some Condor Spire spam trading with stand heavy punch from Cammy. An empty hooligan going for the low, I'm assuming, getting absolutely bonked and then tomahawk bustered by Lily. And then finally, another showcase for Cammy's level one super move. And we actually have just a little bit more footage of Lily versus Cammy that gives us an interesting gameplay detail. So we can see Cammy and Lily going at it in Cammy stage. And here in the corner, we can see Lily has a little bit of an icon with a one beside it. So this is probably her wind clad stack. And I wondered before if you could have just the one or if you had multiples. And it looks like we can have multiples. We can actually build it up. Now, who knows what the maximum will be, but I'm assuming it has to be more than one. And through the magic of editing, hey, here's Cammy's back throw. So that definitely means the other throw was her forward throw. And I guess Delta Red Special Ops is taught by luchadors because this is a very Lucha Libre style head scissors to be sure. Now, Lily versus Cammy is great, but we also got some footage of Zangief versus Marissa, and that's also fantastic. So it starts with a few whiffs, but we get to the main event really quick here. This is the EX spinning pile driver, and there's quite a few things to note about this. We've brought it up before in other videos, but Zangief is the most wrestling, like pro wrestling he's ever actually been. And right here, as he's setting up the spinning pile driver, he's signaling to the crowd. Raising your arm and spinning around is a very common signifier in wrestling that, hey, the big move is about to happen. And the animation itself is suitably devastating, as you would hope. Now, on paper, it leaves them pretty far away. It's not like, say, Street Fighter V, where EX pile drivers guaranteed Oki, guaranteed pressure. However, from Oki and pressure at post knockdown, we've seen from some other matches, this might be the exact right distance to do a drive rush forward and follow up from the enemy. As Zangief recovers seemingly significantly faster than the enemy does, just from a pretty decent distance away. So if you want to do EX pile driver, raw drive rush, then to get your pressure after it, it'd be three bars in total from your drive meter. Although once again, who knows, I'm just spitballing, but it would be neat is what I'm saying. Now here in a bit of a turn the table situation, what Marissa did is she went into her guard stance and tried her command grab from her guard stance. However, Zangief avoids and goes into a combo. Now we see that EX Lariat yet again. One of the things that was uh, brought up before about EX Lariat is how the first hit didn't knock down, but now we can definitely see the second hit absolutely does. It knocks them down, leaves them close. So Zangief can pretty much probably do just about anything he wants on their wake up. So probably a pretty good tool all in all. So here's another interesting sequence coming up. Zangief attempts his EX running bear grab. So yes, the move is still there in case you were worried. This time it's Marissa's turn to jump the grab and she wallops the heck out of him. And right there is something very interesting. So it's been a while since we've seen Marissa's like kind of big double fisted hammer punch move. 
But the one thing here is we now know it's a meterless launcher. It juggles the enemy and you're not spending any drive meter for it. Now, conversely, they go for a raw drive rush and then recombo from there. So the raw drive rush is only a single drive bar, not two like you would expect for like a lot of combo starters. Attacking out of a drive rush effectively gives any given move in a combo uh, the juggle anywhere property. And then, of course, they follow up with the EX Superman punch here. But yeah, so this is similar to, say, how Luke works already in Street Fighter VI. He can do combos that only spend one drive meter on a juggle because he can juggle without spending meter. So if you're looking for, like, meter preservation combos where you're spending as little as possible, that's a possibility. Now, of course, they do an EX Superman punch at the end, so they're not being conservative on the meter, but still, the idea is there. If say you had two drive meters left, right? You'd never want to go into burnout unless it's going to win you the match. So this, you could burn one, still have one left over. I like the idea behind that. Also, we do know that EX Superman punch wall splats. So this combo could continue past this point as well, although we don't get to see it, sadly. And finally, we see a level three out of Marissa. So I'm assuming this is her critical art version, because as we talked about before in a dedicated Marissa video, the uh, big heart left on Zangief's face. That's from the critical art version, and that's basically from an indirect kiss coming from her fist. Now, to bring it up, uh, the expression from Zangief specifically uh, during this is actually just golden. Like, the bewilderment on his face is just so expressive. The models are so well done. It's truly fantastic. I really can't say anything else other than like just the attention to detail, the quality of the models, everything. It is all AAA top notch in Street Fighter VI. And finally, for our footage here closing out, we can see Marissa's win pose again. And uh, as you know, she carries off her opponent and she carries Zengief off like the big seven foot tall, 400 pound baby she is. And she lifts him with ease. And that's today's footage. Uh, considering I wasn't expecting anything to go down today, I'm very, very happy to have it. And it gives us just a few more ideas about how everything's going to work in Street Fighter VI. And a bit of a side note here at the end, because I got nowhere else really to put it. We do see, again, JP's counter. We get a proper look at it. And uh, so when he does his counter, it summons projectiles, as we went over in the dedicated JP video. And it seems he can control it to a degree. So he uses the snap that you can use to detonate his like little dimensional rifts. And once he snaps, it seems the uh, projectiles home in on the enemy. Like Ryu, after seeing the projectiles go on screen, is actively trying to get out of dodge, get away, get away, get away, and trying to jump out. And the snap just chases him down and he gets blown up midair. So there's still a lot to be learned for a lot of these characters is what I'm trying to tell you. We've seen a lot of footage, yes, but every time we see just a little bit more, another piece of the puzzle gets unlocked. There is still so much more to be learned and so much more to be seen. And I hope we can get some Honda footage soon because Honda is the least showcased character in the entire game. But my friends, that is all the info for today. And I suppose we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Street Fighter.